Hey everybody, Audio Barista here and welcome to episode 2 of Tiny Room Big Sound. Now in this series I try to set up a system in a small room that is able to play back rock and create a big sound stage. So why do I want that? And is my own system unable to do that? Well the why is easy, I'm just curious if this can be done in a small room. And about my main system? Well here's the thing. My main system comes a long way at playing rock, but at this price point, tubes just will not do that. Also, my setup is tuned using music that I like. Smaller jazz ensembles, modern country music, think Nora Jones, female voices and lots and lots of classical music. So that is where my system excels. And I don't even think that you can set up a single system that will do justice to every genre of music in existence. And if there is, well, not at the price point that I am playing. So by using rock tracks to tune this new setup, I hope to get the necessary slam and grunge into the system. Now another reason for the lack of slam and grunge that rock music needs is my broadband loudspeakers. By nature, broadbands do not play the full frequency spectrum. It's just physics. They just don't go all the way down or all the way up. And when playing extremely loud, broadband loudspeakers can make the sound become harsh, especially with rock music. Now before any of you anti-tube listeners think they are vindicated in their bias, you are not. Many of the people that have listened to my system said it is the best sound they have ever heard. And one of the first things they will all say is that they are amazed at how the speakers just disappear. So I am very happy with my system, it is just not very good at playing music I don't like. And I can live with that. Also, the harshness only arrives when you are playing at levels way over 95 dB. However, in this series I do want to explore that kind of rock music that I am normally not playing and do it justice in a small room. Now what kind of music am I talking about? Well, one of the very few rock albums that I really, really like is Rage Against the Machine by Rage Against the Machine. I think that one is just brilliant. So this experiment is mostly about setting up a system that will do justice to that particular album. But there are a few more albums that I would like to play on that setup and as I'm going to create a CD only system, I can only use albums that are in my collection. So here you see some of the albums from my collection that I would like to play on this system that I'm building here in this tiny room. Not all are rock and something like Nirvana is only in my collection because I saw it in a thrift store for some 75 cents. Because apart from the opening song it's not an album that I like very much. Now for those of you who follow my channel you know you never hear any rock on my channel. I also don't care very much for the Beatles, the Stones, ACDC, Toto, Deep Purple, The Doors, Steely Dan, Genesis, Hendrix, Iron Maiden, The Who, The Clash, Pearl Jam, Scorpions, Aerosmith or Van Halen. So basically all the classics. And this has been like that all my life. I've always been atypical in my listening habits. So when all my schoolmates were listening to the top 40, I was listening to The Art of Noise, Tom Rotella, Tori Amos or Björk. So maybe this experiment will get me to appreciate those classics a bit more. Anyways, this was episode 2, thank you for watching and I will see you in episode 3.